Um, so today we are going to do a shoulder mobility workout. So this is useful either as a warm-up or when you're doing shoulder work for overhead, but also it's really useful for people who um, have got shoulder injuries. I am going to do one uh, in a while, uh, which is more about shoulder injuries, but for now this is just mobility. So uh, the first one we're going to do is sitting down, feet hip width apart, and your hands are going to be facing behind you with your little fingers towards each other. And all you're going to do is walk out as far as you can. And what you're stretching is the muscles, your biceps, the muscles up the front of your arms. And when you get to the end, you're just going to take five deep breaths in and out. So nice diaphragmatic breathing, so into your belly. So breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and out. And if you can, as you breathe out, just drop, you can drop back into your arms a little more. Keep your abs pulled in, don't let your belly bulge. Okay, and, and just relax. So you should feel that pulling on your arms here, but if you've got really tight elbows, you'll feel it into your elbows as well. Again, this is something similar. So your feet are hip width apart and you're in making what's called a tabletop with your body. So your arms are directly behind you and you're just going to lift and lower your hips. My hands aren't crossed. So lift and make a tabletop and lower. And this is doing something similar to the first one. So it's just stretching your shoulders. We're doing 10 of these. This is very early in the morning, so my arms are feeling really stiff. So this is a nice stretch for my arms. I don't know how many I've done. So if I haven't done 10, it won't really matter, but if you're doing it by yourself, just add an extra one if I haven't done it properly. So these, so to get some tension in your body, you hold a hold a fist and your arm out to the side. And what we're going to do is uh, shoulder circles. So we're going to do five on each arm. So try to keep your palm facing up. So keep your arm facing up. As you go over, turn your hand, come all the way back as far as you can. So up. So you need to move within your tolerance. So don't make anything painful. But if you can, just try to get each circle a little bit bigger each time you go around. Next hand, make a fist. The fist is just to keep tension in your body. And you're going all the way around. So palm up, change it round as you come back down. So up, turn your hand, and come all the way back down. I don't remember if we've done five or six, but hey ho, one for good measure. Now that was for shoulder mobility, the ball and socket here. The one we're gonna do next is for um, your shoulder blades. So you need to, I'll show you from front, but I'll also show you from the side. So you're going to make a fist and your hands are at 45 degrees. So they're pointing out to the corners of the room. Then I'll just show you from this side. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 of them. You're going to elevate your shoulders, which means bring them up to the shoulders, your, your ears. Retract, pull your shoulders back. Depress, which is lower your shoulder blades, forward and back up again. So you're making shoulder, uh, circles with your shoulders, but from the side. Now this is really important, especially for mobility. Um, sorry, we're gonna do five forwards and five backwards. Obviously I'm going backwards now. So these would be useful to um, start to get your shoulder blades moving, especially when we get back to normal, to uh, do pull-ups. So 
if anybody has got um, impingement for their shoulder, then these are useful today. So five backwards and five forwards. Uh, what's my next one? So, we are uh, probably best to do it from the side. So, four point knee length, so hands are under at shoulders, knees are under your hips, and you're going to put, I'll change directions just in case you can't see in a minute, but you're going to put your hands behind your head, you're going to lift your elbow, move the hand forward, take it all the way around in a big circle, put your hand across your back, take it back the other way. So that's the first one. I'm sorry, I didn't lift my elbow. Hand forward, all the way around, and across your back. I'll do it from another angle, I don't know if it makes it any better. So, uh, and then come back. So behind head, lift your elbow, arm forward, all the way around, and across your back. Back to the start. back. Now some of you may find this really hard to do and if you do just move in your frame uh, range of movement. So if you can only get your arm to here that's fine. Just each time try to move a little bit further so that you increase your range of movement. So behind, elbow and you might find or probably everybody will find that one shoulder works better than the other. And we're always more mobile on one side. Depends on whether you're right handed or not. So as slow as you can do these, so if you want to stop the video and do them slower, that's actually really beneficial. So that was for your elbow. So we're now going to do one uh, child's pose. So child's pose, knees wide. Uh, sorry, go into full point kneeling. Drop yourself back. And all you're going to do is put your hands behind your head and turn up to the ceiling. So you're trying to push your arm up to the ceiling. You can breathe in as you go forward out as you go up. I find this one really hard, but it opens up your upper back and helps stretch the front of your chest. So we're doing five on each side. Hand behind head and just twist. Breathe in, exhale as you move. relax. Uh, do you wonder why I keep looking across to the side? I've got my notes pinned onto the sofa to remind myself what we were going to do. So the next one is lying on the floor. These are kind of um, strengthening. These are really good for people who've got shoulder injuries and, and some people might find them difficult to do. So they're called YTWIs. So that indicates the length, the shape of your arms as you're trying to do them. So we're going to do 10 little pulses in each position. So if I get muffled because I'm laying down, um, at least you know where we're going. So the Y is arms pointing out to the corners of the room. So 45 degrees. And you're going to make a fist and your thumb is pointing up to the ceiling. And you're just pulsing 10 times. So that's your Y. Bring your arms in, thumbs up to the ceiling. This is your T, so your arms are level with your shoulder. The W is pulling your elbows in towards your waist and your palms are facing down. 
and you're just squeezing your shoulder blades together. And the last one is the eye. Hands out in front of you, thumbs up to the ceiling. Chats. YTWI. This is really good for anybody who's got shoulder problems just to do as a strengthening thing every day. Sorry, I stopped talking when I did that. I couldn't breathe with um, a lane on my chest. So, the next one is to uh, stretch your back, but upper back, but also your shoulders. But see, may need to move because I don't want an, a backside shot. Mm -hmm. So, you're going to put your hands on a sofa, chair, anything you can manage. And you're going to walk back and drop your head through your arms as low as possible. And you're just going to hold that for 30 seconds. So in this position, take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, drop into it. Try not to stick your backside in the air and have a really arched back. The, the, the aim isn't to get the movement from your lower back. The aim is to get the movement from your shoulders. So just dropping your head through as far as possible. And you might feel that stretch up your biceps and it's a good stretch for your arms. Okay, last two things. So this is for your elbows and one for your wrists. So to start with, you are going to sit, kneel, sit in a chair, doesn't really matter. And all you're gonna do is bring your hands to your shoulders, turn your hands and take them all the way down. So this mobilizes your elbows. And they seem really simple, but it's really good for people uh, when you're starting to do cleans to get in the front rack position. Make sure you're set upright, tummy button pulled in so that you've got nice posture. So we're doing 10 of those. I might do some, uh, an elbow mobility for people who have elbow problems because we get a lot of people with tennis or golfers elbow, so pain on the elbow here and there, here. And then the last one is just doing Elbow, uh, sorry, wrist. So all you're doing is circling your wrist. And again, this is good. Rep, um, this is uh, good to do for cleans, just to warm your wrists up. And make sure that you go round. Ooh, this is juddery in both directions. Gosh, I haven't done this for ages. I never have time. That's just a little mobility today to uh, mobilise your shoulders, wrists and elbows. And tomorrow we will do a hip one. Okay, stay safe. Talk soon. Bye.